Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to hack a FLIR E4 as long as you guys have the 1.19.8 um, firmware or below. They just released the 1.21, so you will not be able to mod that yet, uh, if you ever even will be able to. Um, I would suggest going to the eevblog.com. Um, very helpful people there if you ever have any problems, but make sure you search first, because there's 260 pages at least and growing. And I'm sure all the questions have been covered, you just gotta look for the answer. And I also have all of these links for the stuff that you'll need in the description. First of all, what you'll need is the FLIR RNDIS um, driver. Um, just go here, download it, and then once you have that, we'll go ahead and start. Uh, I, I believe that's actually just for the menu hacking, but might as well just install it right away. But I already have it installed, so we'll go ahead with the uh, hacking of the resolution first. You can do the normal method that Mike had, but also Tauscher released this easy CRC. So for this you also need 7-zip if you don't have it already for extracting it. Maybe your computer already has some extraction software on it already. But anyways, you can go ahead, right click it, and then 7-zip, and then you can just extract to there. Then it'll be in a new folder, and you can just run it right away. Then all you have to all you have to do is enter your serial number and for my security I'm going to just enter in my uh, serial number and then show you guys the file that outputs but I'm not going to show you my serial number alright so now that I have the serial number entered all you do is enter the serial number press enter and then this will happen all you do is press enter and then it'll close out and now it has zip my contents now what you do is you highlight both of these files make sure you highlight both right click go to 7-zip and then you can add to archive and then you're gonna do zip my contents and then get rid of the dot zip change this yeah this is its dot zip still change it to dot fif then hit ok ok and now we're going to go into the FLIR tools I already have this installed, but you're going to go ahead and run this, and then install it, and then we're going to open up FLIR Tools. Actually, not FLIR Tools. We're going to go into um, the file folder for FLIR. Um, if you have a 64-bit system like I do, it will be under x86 or just program files, whichever one it installed into. But uh, in this case, it's the x86 folder, then under FLIR Systems. Now you're going to want to go under FLIR Tools bin and then down to FLIR install net right there alright now that we wanna we have this open we're gonna wanna turn on our camera then you're gonna browse your folder your .fif and you're just going to click that. Then you're going to go ahead and click Run FIF. And there you go. Now that you have the upgraded firmware, you're just going to want to shut it down, um, disconnect your USB, and then take your battery out and put the battery back in. And then go ahead and turn your camera back on.